हेलो एवरीवन एक्सपेरिमेंट टू इज यूनिवर्सल कंप्रेशन टेस्ट सो आर मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू फाइंड द कंप्लाइंस ऑफ द मशीन एंड टू फिगर आउट द यंग्स मॉडल इन कंप्रेशन एंड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ टू स्ट्रेस वर्सेस टू स्ट्रेन डेटा द इक्विपमेंट्स एंड टूल्स नीडेड आर द यू मशीन द वर्नियर कैलिपर द कॉम्प्रेशन प्लेटन्स and the specimens i will brief you about the experiment like we are having a two specimens one is of steel whose material properties are already known to us and the second is the aluminum whose material property is to be calculated so first we do a test on a steel and we load the steel within the elastic region and plot the stress strain curve for the same material whose material properties are known to us secondly we will load the aluminum specimen at 30% strain and also get the stress strain data for this and based on these two curves we will able to calculate the compliance of machine and based on that machine compliance we can plot a actual data or actual young's modulus for the aluminum so let's see how this machine works and how the specimens are mounted on the platens so this is the utm machine which is called as universal testing machine the machine model is ls100 and this is the load cell this its load cell capacity is 100 kN and this is the cross head this machine is totally displacement control machine in which the lead screws are provided inside this two columns based on which your cross head is moved and that we take as a machine displacement so let's see the mounting of this so these are the flat platens used for compression test this end is fixed the upper end is movable so let's mount the platens on the machine as the bottom end is fixed so there is no such clamping is needed we just rest this platen on the bottom stud the upper end is also the similar the circular platen we will just mount this yes so your fixtures are mounted easily on this and these are the two specimens we are having so first let's mount the steel specimen between the two platens so before mounting we need to apply a grease grease on the specimen so it is how we are applying a grease you have to apply a grease on both the ends yes so after applying the grip you can mount this specimen at the center of the platen before starting the test uh let me show you the dimensions of this this is the vernier caliper used to measure the dimension the diameter of the steel specimen is 20 mm and the height is 10 mm this is the console given by the company to control the machine movement so we call this as a jogging this will jog or move the cross head up this will move the cross head down so we will take this top platen towards the specimen and we will put in the position like it is just touching the specimen and not applying any load before starting i will move this cross head down you can see here like this is the cross head and this is the load cell while loading it will sense the load and it is transferred to the software 
this crossword movement is happening by the lead screws given in this columns. Yes, the specimen is mounted and let us see the software to operate the machine. Okay, so this is the software provided by the company. The company is Lloyd Instruments. The software name is Nexigen Plus. So here we can edit the test. We can select the, as we are doing the compression test, I can select the direction compression and the speed as 1 mm per minute and as I told you this steel specimen should be loaded up to the elastic limit. So I will restrict the load limit as 40 kN. So once that machine reaches to 40 kN it automatically gets stopped and up to that load uh, the data will get saved. So we are we have already edited the parameters and we are ready to start the test. Here we can see this is the console which shows the value of new load and the displacement. Now it is showing some value 672 Newton 182 mm. So before starting any test we need to tear all these values. So I am tearing these values and making it to 0. Yes, so both the values become 0 and at this position we can start the test. So I am starting the test now. Yes, so this graph is plotting in y axis you will have your load and in x axis it will be the machine displacement or machine extension in mm. The machine has already stopped as it reaches to 40 kN and this data can be saved and sent to you. Yeah, so here I will show you that how we are uh, saving the data points. There is an option called data point export and I will take the 1000 points and the data are needed are load and machine extension export to file. So desktop I can save as ME218.
yes the data will look like this column a is your load and column b is machine extension yes so we have done with the steel specimen so i will remove the specimen out i will jog the machine up so after steel specimen we can load our aluminum specimen between these two platens again we have to apply the grease on the aluminum specimen on both the sides the dimensions of the aluminum specimens are the diameter is 12.45 and the length is or height is 19.19.02 so you have to place a specimen at the center of the platen and you have to place a specimen at the center of the platen and take the cross head down until it just touches to the specimen so let's edit the parameters for the aluminum specimen the direction will be compression the extension rate is 1 mm per minute same as we did for steel in limit the previously the limit was towards the load that is 40 kN now we can change that to the extension and the 30% of the 19 or the height of the specimen is coming to 5.709 mm and your test will automatically get stopped when it reaches to the extension 5.709 mm so before starting as usual we need to tear off the all raw values like uh, 3.8 newton and the low extension so i am tearing here the that values so we are ready to start the test and yes i am starting the test now for aluminum
yes the test is done for aluminum also so this is the curve we have got and test data will be saved and sent to you let us see the tested specimen of aluminum now i will take this crosshead up by this console we can see this specimen like how it has compressed and the shape has got changed so i hope you come to know the comparison between these two specimens and to figure out the compliance of the machine basically your specimen will be lying over here at this location but the load or the displacement are coming it has to come over this load cell this screws this platens and then it will come to the specimen so these are the specimens we have tested to measure the compliance of the machine this is the steel specimen which doesn't have any deformation but in the aluminum you can see clearly the deformation has occurred this is the method we are using to measure the compliance of the machine thank you